Hey guys, it's me, Dark Renegade 50, back for another review. This is my third review of, of today, and this is one of the new figures I got. Uh, here it is. Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Class, Chromia. This is Chromia in her bike mode. Uh, she will be part of the three bike sisters, which consist of her, Chromia, uh, RC, and the purple bike that we still do not know the name of. Now, please do not spoil the movie for me, but I really don't want to know what the Purple Spike's name is. And so far, I really have no idea whatsoever what her name is, uh, the Purple Third RC Sister Bike. But this, but this one is Chromia. Uh, as you can see, she stands pretty well with that kickstand lowered that is, that is provided right here. She stands pretty well. Uh, she comes with this stand, so if you don't want to display her like that, with the stand like that, you can gladly take this part off, which gladly this can act with the ion cannon and Gatling gun right there, but it kind of shoots off the handles because it's not that high enough. But here, let me take this off. And how you plug it in, you see this piece right here? And the other side, they'll fit right there. It's kind of tight getting in it. And it's a very, there we go. So if you don't want the kickstand while you're displaying Chromia in bike mode, you can use this. It kind of looks a little out of proportion because these look like tread, snow tread wheels. And she's kind of like lifted off the ground and stuff. But that's not bad at all. Um, let me take that off. I'll use this later for a robot mode because she does just display very, very well with this. She rolls nicely on any surface. All her wheels move. They're not tight at all. And surprisingly enough, uh, she is very, very easy to transform. Um, uh, one of the best transformations I've seen in a motorcycle. Um, Prowl was pretty easy, but this one kind of is not bad. Uh, people have been saying that she's kind of hard and tricky. Um, and there's a problem with her, but I'll get to that later. So anyway... Start the transformation off. First, you want to do is lift the the biker seat up. Next, what you want to do is untab this piece here. This will become her uh, right arm, and then take these sections here, flip them this way. And in this, in in while I'm doing the transformation, I'll actually show you how I like to display my chromia and how I like to transform her. So anyway, as I'm doing. Uh, take the mm, mm, take the motorcycle exhaust back part and just bring it out. And while you're doing that, too, um, fold in the license plate inward. And then, as you got both the arms out, take rotate these these pieces outwards. They're on a special gray hinge. And it's a little tough because I you know sometimes it should work, but you know oh. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's okay. That's what I had to do. You have to move the wheel because it's all connected with this wheel for the right arm and everything. Anyway, take the take the the seat that I lifted earlier and just fold it all the way in and clip it into place. Okay. Now that we're this far, now we can bring these pieces up. The head is stored within. The head is. Uh, Hang on, let me see if I can get this on camera. The head is right here. Uh, rotate it upwards and around. Make sure you don't break it. It's on a special tab that swirls around. And here's the part where people kind of hate this figure. Uh, there's tabs here and pegs, and you have to uh, connect the torso and the head at the same time. And make sure you peg it in nice and hard because you do not want this to... Okay, yeah, hang on. you do not want it to unpeg itself all the time, so make sure you push in as hard as you can, not too hard, or other otherwise you're gonna stress some some plastic parts. So make sure you push that in nice, and then situate the head nice and straight. And then what I like to do for my chromia is that I like to bring the wheel up, just so that way you get she gets enough uh, head space. Then next, what you want to do, see this. This wheel is on a special hinge, so you can go like that with it. So uh, rotate it as much as you can, just to about there. And as for the handles for the motorcycle, what I like to do is just turn them slightly that way, so you get, they're concealed in a way. I bring these pieces out, get her. Okay, yeah, this is kind of getting unpegged in a way. 
Yeah, that's the one thing that people are don't like say they don't like this figure because the the upper torso just unpegs itself and it's just a pain in the ass to put together. And we rotate these pens out of the way. And make sure these panels are kind of out. And once again, it just pops out again. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> okay. Now take the kick snap. Now take the stand here and plug it where I, where you originally did in bike mode. Okay, there we go. All right, and that is Chromia. So here I'm gonna raise the camera upwards, and that is Revenge of the Fallen Chromia in robot mode. Now, what I gotta say is that she looks really fantastic. I'm gonna give you a close up on the face. Yeah, she kinda has a good face in a way. She, it really looks female. Um, she has uh, three fingers. She has nice shoulder joints, shoulder pads here and here. Um, but yeah, that's how I like to have my Chromia displayed. In a way, uh, not exact, but I, you know, in a way that looks the best to me or the best to you, in whatever way you like to transform her. Um, let's see if I can get this on camera. Okay, now I need to. Okay. Now for her weapon, she comes with this blaster rifle. That's that's basically her left arm and hand. So she comes with this nice clear missile, and this is the trigger. So all you gotta do is just press it. And it fires. She has a very powerful missile. I love that. Um, I highly recommend getting her um, because she will combine with RC and the purple bike, which I still don't know what her name is. Because if you look here on the back, in bike mode, this is basically the bottom part of the bike. This piece will actually come out and there's a slot. So that basically tells me that when RC and the Pro Bike come out, they will combine in some way, and we still do not know how it's done or why. Um, it's pretty interesting, and hopefully it's not you know terrible. Hopefully Hasbro came up with a way to make it look as awesome as possible. But yeah, this is Deluxe Chromia. I also got this along with Skids at a sale at Walmart. Uh, I highly picking her up. You won't be disappointed. Just make sure that you get these pieces here, the chest pieces, nice and firmly clicked in as possible. And, you know, display them uh, however you want it to. So, yeah, this has been Dark Rain Gate 50 with uh, Deluxe Revenge of the Fallen Chromia. And I'll be watching the movie this Wednesday. Hope you enjoy it. It's been getting good reviews. And this has been a Dark Rain Gate 50 Transform Review. Thank you, and I'm signing out.